Overclockers, my name's Bryony and welcome to another episode of News Weekly. As you can tell, I've been getting into the spirit for May the 4th and I hope that you all had a wonderful Star Wars day. I've personally been preparing for Obi-Wan by re-watching the first trilogy. Now, let's get into this week's stories all about a musical gaming event, Square Unix and a launch from a galaxy far, far away. Kicking off the episode with the gaming chapter, first on the set list for this week's news is that the BBC Proms will soon be hosting its first ever gaming themed prom. The BBC Proms is a yearly music festival held every summer at the Royal Albert Hall in London. This event will be the first time in its over 100 year history that video game music has featured. I absolutely love the title, which is From 8-Bit to Infinity, and the setlist has just been announced, and there's a great selection of legendary soundtracks. There's 14 minutes of music from Battlefield 2042, I've begun my ascent from Dear Esther, plus excerpts from Kingdom Hearts and Shadow of the Colossus. If you're interested in going along, the event is being held on the 1st of August and ticket sales are already live. If you unfortunately can't make it or if the tickets happen to sell out, thankfully it will be shown on BBC4 on the 5th of August. I guess maybe my TV licence isn't completely useless after all. Our final gaming story this week is surprising news from Square Unix. Essentially, the successful video game company has sold off all of its Western studios and over 50 intelligent properties for just $300 million. It's a surprisingly small amount after similar sales within the gaming industry recently soared into the billions. The buyer, in Bracer Group, will soon own Crystal Dynamics, Eidos Montreal, and Square Unix Montreal with around 1,100 employees. IPs also included in the sale amongst others are Tomb Raider, Deus Ex, Thief and Legacy of Kane. The deal does not include other games that Square Unix publishes such as Life is Strange, Just Cause and Outriders. It also doesn't include the company's biggest money makers. These are Japan made mobile phone games and MMOs. The deal in general also starts to make more sense when you consider that supposedly between the huge flops that were Marvel Avengers and Guardians of the Galaxy games, Square Unix apparently lost a whopping $200 million. Instead of hemorrhaging money on these less popular titles, they've decided to move them on and focus on some rather unusual endeavours. Square Unix said the large sum of cash will enable the launch of new businesses by moving forward with investments in fields including blockchain, AI and the cloud. As always, the sale is subject to various regulatory and external approvals, but is currently set to go through by September this year. If you want to read more, I'll drop the full press release in the description below. Kicking off the hardware chapter of the news this week is an exciting launch from a galaxy far, far away. Noble Chairs have just announced the brand new Boba Fett edition. The hero shape is finished in Boba Fett's familiar colours with armour detailing and his iconic helmet embroidered on the backrest. Being a Noble Chair, it comes armed with 4D armrests, adjustable lumbar support and a tilt rocking mechanism. It's fully adjustable, so you can game like you're riding a panther. I love the Boba Fett artwork, and it's exciting to see an officially licensed Star Wars chair. I'm sure there will be plenty more designs to come. It's ideal for the galaxy-trotting bounty hunter, hardened rebel, or powerful Sith Lord. You can get yours right now on the Overclockers website for $424.99, and I'll drop a link below. Flying on into the next hardware story of the news this week, it's all about an exciting new overclocking record. At the moment, DDR5 memory is still reasonably young, with less than a year on the mainstream market. It actually often takes several years for the really fast kits to appear, 
And at the moment, consumer grade DDR5 is currently available at 7,000 megahertz. However, as recently reported by HWBot, it looks as though we can expect some insane speeds as DDR5 matures over the next couple of years. Gigabyte's professional in-house overclocker, High Cookie, just managed to break the 10,000 MHz barrier with a single 16 gigabyte DDR5 Gigabyte Aureus RGB stick on a Gigabyte Z690 Aureus Tachyon motherboard. As with all records, the other configurations were far from normal. The i9-12900K was actually heavily modified with just two cores enabled and downclocked to 2.1 GHz. Additionally, both the CPU and the memory were cooled with LN2 and the OS of choice was the 17-year-old Windows XP Professional. This is clearly impractical for the average user However, it's impressive to see the potential and the entry was fully validated by HWBot so we know that the score was in fact real and not just a bug. It's going to be interesting to see if we ever see speeds of 10,000 MHz available for the consumer market and hopefully manufacturers are also working on improving the timings to bring DDR5's latency down. It's actually still pretty high when you compare it to that of DDR4. If you want to check out the full submission, I'll make sure to drop a link below. The next hardware story this week is that peripherals manufacturer Glorious have just announced a brand new group by scheme for limited edition products. It's called Glorious Forge and the new store will allow people to get their hands on products that are too niche to ever fit into the main Glorious product lineup. Supposedly, we can expect new colorways, new materials, new sizes, layouts, shapes, and components across keyboards, mice, mouse mats, and more. Any future Forge launches will be treated as a group buy, meaning you will need to pre-order the products you're interested in. Once they've reached the minimum pre-order quantity, they'll be put straight into production and then shipped out to anyone who's pre-ordered. I immediately thought of websites like Kickstarter, which works in a similar way. And in general, the custom keyboard community is no stranger to group buys and limited edition runs. Any potential Glorious Forge launches will be posted on the dedicated hub page on their website, where you can either register your interest or take part in an active group buy. Currently, you can order the Model O mouse in a limited edition hot pink until the 11th of May. Personally, I love this idea as ultimately it does give consumers more choice and it allows Glorious to try out weird and wonderful new ideas designed for the enthusiast community. Plus, all those electronic Glorious Forge products will come with a two-year warranty with the promise that they'll be up to the same standard as existing Glorious products. I can't wait to see what they release yet, and as I've just bought myself a GMMK Pro frame, I can see this costing me a lot of money. Our final hardware story this week is all about deals, deals, deals on the Overclockers website for Gaming Week. We too know how to run a great promotion, and you can pick up some wonderful savings right up until the 8th of May. There's offers on graphics cards, motherboards, mice, keyboards, audio equipment, monitors, laptops, storage, and much more. Some of the gaming industry's best products are included from manufacturers such as Asus, Razer, Glorious, Samsung, MSI, and WD. Here are some of my absolute favorite picks. You've got 22% off the Asus GeForce RTX 3080 Tough OC 12GB edition, which brings it in at under £1,000. There's also 11% off what is likely to be my next gaming mouse, the Glorious Model O Minus Wireless, now just £79.99. There's a fantastic 32-inch MSI Optics display with 29% off, and it hits the sweet spot for gaming with 1440p, 175Hz, G-Sync compatible panel. My final pick is the Gen 4 WD SN850, which has some whopping discounts and is available in a few different capacity options, starting at just $84.95. It's the ideal drive to speed up your PC. 
Remember, all these offers end on the 8th of May, so click the link in the description below to see them all on the Overclockers website and grab them before they jump to light speed and they're gone. Thanks for watching this week's Star Wars themed episode. Let me know in the comments below what you got up to for May the 4th. Give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, press the bell icon, and may the force be with you.